as we have already said that the stator of the induction motor or induction machine is a three phase uh, is having three phase supply as well as it is having um, at least six poles and we are talking about the three phase induction motor six poles or three poles there whatever your nomenclature is now uh, coming to the stator actually the thing is that uh, we need as i already said that there should be a rotating magnetic field and that rotating magnetic field is generated when we have uh, three pole poles uh, which are spaced apart by 120 degree first thing and second thing is uh, the it is the three phase which we are supplying to the stator of the induction motor it should be 120 degree apart so the condition first condition for having the rotating magnetic field uh, is that first one already said that it, the pole should be 120 degree spaced apart second thing very important thing to generate the uh, rotating magnetic field in induction motor we should be having a three phase supply which is having red yellow and blue or rvp phases three phases which should be uh, apart from uh, which should be a, uh, electrically spaced by 120 degrees to each other and the amplitude of them should be equal so the second condition is So one may question that what, what is the requirement of these two things. Uh, these two things are very much important when we are talking about objective type of questions. So when uh, any objective type of question is asked regarding the uh, generation of your three phase uh, rotating magnetic field. So these two conditions which is which are that the poles should be 120 degree uh, placed and uh, another thing is that the three place supply should be uh, having 120 degree of phase shift so i will be discussing this in detail now in the state up as we have in the previous uh, session we have said that the we have six poles or three pole pairs which are having uh, uh, 120 degree of phase shift. We have seen that. Now we will be saying that what is the requirement of our uh, three phase supply to be having uh, 120 degree phase shift. We know that when we are talking about a uh, three phase supply, everybody knows that the three phase supply, if the R phase is like this, then after 120 degree my uh, Y phase and af after that 120 degree my B phase will be starting. So I think approximately from here my another phase will be starting which will be coming approximately here like this and after this after this 120 degree another phase will be starting from here and it will be starting like this so since this diagram is not clear we will be having another type easier way of making this diagram so that make some soft loops then 
join these I can have one more so this is also available so I can have one over here so now I am having three different phases suppose this phase is starting from here and going up to here then going up to here this is my first phase we will be looking for the second phase this is my second phase the red one which will be going from here which will be going from here and it will be coming here and my third phase would be again the blue one will be starting from here and this way it will be looking so I have now three phases while this phase this is my suppose first phase this one if I remove the red line now it will be much more clear and again it is going here the red phase which will be starting from somewhat here this is the red face again. Like this. And my blue face will be starting from somewhat. Here. So now this is my blue face. I'm making uh, three different colors. I'm using three different colors just to so show that why and how these three phases are performed. Suppose this is the black one, which I'll be saying R. This is Y phase, and this is B phase. And when I draw the phasor diagram of this, I can see that. So this is my R phase, this is my Y phase, and this is my B phase. So when I talk about my another thing that R phase will be having a negative value here, and my Y phase will be having negative value here, and my B phase will be having negative value here. So I'll be talking if this is negative y, this is negative b, and this is negative r. So I can have the extension of the phases in other direction in the 180 degree negative direction also, so that one can understand how we are now it is here. Coming back to this r phase. Since now R phase is in the positive max direction here, I am talking about this place, this place and this place. I can have this place, this place and this place. These three places I am having right now. So if I am talking about the R phase right now, I can see that the R phase is at the positive maximum value. Whereas the Y phase and my uh, B phase, this is my red one is my Y phase and the blue one is my blue one is my uh, Y phase. So I can say that my R phase is in the positive maximum direction. This is my positive maximum direction, so I will be taking it here only. This is my positive X direction and my Y and B phases are in negative direction. So my Y phase negative direction is like this and my B phase negative direction is this here so I can say that when I my I am having a magnetic field since this is uh, having a three phase supply but obvious three phase magnetic field will be generated so my direction of actual direction of EMF 
would be in this direction here so my emf generation is in this direction so my magnetic induction which is magnet 5 5 will be also in the same direction apart from these two now coming to this point y point now i can again see that this is my direction of my y phase and the direction of my r phase is sorry the direction of my y phase is right now in this direction and the direction of my r phase which is here you can see the black one the black one is showing in the negative direction right now so r phase in this direction negative r and my red one which is my b phase is also in the negative direction which is in this direction negative b direction so this was in the previous one r was positive now my y is positive and here i'll be getting in the same way in the b point b phase is in this direction i'll be getting b here and my uh, r phase this one is my black one is my r phase r phase is in the negative direction which is like this negative r this is my b phase and i'll be getting y phase in the negative direction here so if i make a circle right now in this circle i can say that suppose i make some circle which here now this is a circle now this is my center of the circle now my r phase is in this direction so the total magnitude of this phase r by b here is in this direction this is the direction of my total magnetic field in the first point and the y point my total field has changed approximately 120 degrees here and has reached here after traveling in this direction now again my b phase is is again 120 degree apart here this is my r phase this is my y phase this is my b phase and again from b to r my phase so i can see that the magnetic field is also rotating in the same direction the way my emf is moving by magnetic uh, uh, flux is also moving in this direction first of all r then in the maximum y direction in the b so this way i will be having a rotating magnetic field so this way i will have my uh, conductor or my rotor moving in the same direction of the magnetic field now the question comes why the uh, rotor moves in the same direction as my magnetic field is moving so we will be discussing that this is the, this was the part that how the rotating magnetic field is generated now we will be discussing about the rot uh, rotor ro rotating in the same direction as that of my magnetic field